Hey guys, I'm making this short video to show off my D menu configuration. As you can tell from the title, uh, I'm showing off how you can make D menu look like Rofi. And I know a lot of people use Rofi for aesthetic reasons, but the problem with Rofi is that it's very bloated. Um, it might just be the whole meme of if I can't compile it, how can I trust it? But in any case, uh, with dmenu you can compile it from source which is great which means that you can make any edits to it and y you can see exactly what's going on in the code and beyond that dmenu is just a very small lightweight program which means that you can use it in a very unixy way um, in the sense that you can pipe things to it have stuff pipe out and it's really great uh, in fact I'll link you to a video by Luke Smith uh, talking about this because I think he could he does a better job than I think I could right now at explaining how D menu works but without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and run it so or specifically D menu run so this is my D menu configuration like I said it looks like Rofi um, it works like normal I could bring up well let's bring up ST you know it launches programs like you would expect and on what I just said, Ro D the thing about D menu it, that I don't know if Rofi has, uh, which is that because it's so Unix compliant, uh, you can use it to pipe the outputs of programs into it. So, for example, uh, I use D menu to switch between different screens uh, in this prompt. So that's great. Um, now. This is the source. Now I was gonna get rid of this, but if you want to get my config, uh, I'm gonna leave a link to my GitHub in the description. Um, but basically, if you you just go into GitHub and just follow the directions to download the source. But once you've done that, it's as easy as type you make. There's some errors. There's some warnings. I mean, but it's not fatal. But sudo make install. I'm not gonna install it mainly because I already have it installed but that's how you install it after you you enter that it's just gonna ask you for your password and it'll be installed and you'll have this but um anyways I'm just gonna make clean so I won't show you how you know generally how you compile but um, this is specifically how you compile my program um, which in fact if you're wondering where D menu comes from uh, maybe you're not wondering because you already know but D menu is actually not my creation it's just my that source is just my configuration from the, the source I got from suckless.org so suckless if you don't know is just a group of programmers who hate modern software development they think it's too bloated um, and it's unsustainable which I frankly agree with um, so yeah, that's that's suckless, and D menu is just one of their their programs, and the patch I use to achieve this is just on on the suckless site. It's called Center, as you can see on screen. I patched it in. Um, I'm not going to show you how to patch. You can see that up. You can see that elsewhere. Um, maybe I'll make a video of my own showing you how to do that. But that's the idea of it. Um, Anyways, that's it. That's all I want to talk about here. Just to show you that. Um, hell, maybe I'll make a video in the future talk, talking more specifically about this. But I think for now, that's yeah, okay. Or this is okay, rather. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. But if you do dislike it, I just ask that you comment on what I could do better. Um, maybe if you don't like my voice. Um, or something like that or just the way I organize this or how unprofessional it looks or something like that I mean uh, that I'll make that that's for a separate video but anyways that's if you dislike it just leave a comment tell me why um, yeah anyways thank you thank you for watching and I hope this time I don't cut myself off but yeah anyways thanks for watching